Hello everybody, I'm Sam, this is my corner, and this is Space Engine. We're back again and we're going to do a little bit more exploration. It has actually been two weeks since I last uploaded, but stuff got in the way. So I think we should just get on with exploring. So I don't just want to stay in the galaxy, I want to explore around the universe. Um, I think that'd be a good idea. This is an interesting nebula. What resides in this solar system? Okay, so we've got some... Ooh, it's a binary system. Binary systems with planets are rather unlikely. Damn, those stars are quite close. Wait, how close is the closest planet? How is this thing not boiled? Oh, hold on a minute. It is boiled. Boiled quite badly, actually. Isn't that, like, hot enough to melt metals? Okay, it's just shy of being able to melt aluminium. Or aluminum. I don't think there's any correct way of pronouncing it, really. Aluminium. For some reason the top of the screen was cropped, it's not anymore, I've only just realised. Um, let's check out this gas giant over here, it's very green. Um, it looks a bit like Jewel from KSP. It's kind of got a Jupiter great red spot, it's the great, it's the great green spot over here. I wonder what it would look like from a moon. That's quite big in the sky. It almost takes up everything. Um, I'm guessing, yeah, that's pretty bright. Ooh, that's shiny. Can't imagine going for a midnight walk. At least, at least you wouldn't trip over anything. Moving on. Um, wow, that was bright when I... Um, this looks a bit like Ganymede. Ooh, it seems to have... Is this one of those planets that has a binary orbit? Oh, I've landed on this. It's a very, very rocky surface. Kind of like the surface of our moon, covered in craters. That This is this moon's equivalent of Earthrise. How bright is it from... That, that's a cool, that's a cool shot. That is a very, very cool shot. Anyway, moving on, we've got this red gas giant. It's also very egg-shaped. It's got a day of only eight hours, that explains it, and with a, quite a big size. It does explain the egg-shapedness quite big from the night, well, the day sky, this moon, and I bet it would be quite big from the night side, night, the night sky of this moon. This planet looks like it has water. Ooh, but does it, or is it just, it's got hurricanes, but is it just the colour of, the, ooh, I think it's just the colour of the atmosphere. It looks a bit like Earth, somewhere out in the desert. And the final planet in the solar system is this blue one. It's also got a big hurricane vortex-like swirl there. It's got a moon with an atmosphere. Ooh, is that water? Nope, it's just more sand. Ooh, it's a big valley. I appear to have crashed. Very, very pretty. Anyway, we must move on now to a different system but which one shall we go to let's go far out shall we so nowhere in our galaxies let's go to this galaxy this one looks quite cluttered let's go and see is it as cluttered as it seems it seems to be filled with blue stars. Uh, let's go to this star. This is a binary system. No planets, but 
very interesting nonetheless. Ooh, this one does have planets, and they're all, they're all blue. Or at least most of them are blue. Go into each of them here. They're like, um, Neptune, really. This one definitely looks like Neptune. It's got a little hurricane vortex thing there. This one has rings. Oh, I like the shadow they cast on the atmosphere. It's interesting to see, because if you go... That looks like a black hole. Have I created a black hole? Why would I get close to the surface of the planet? There's just a... I'm not going to question it too much. Instead, I'm going to move on to the next planet, I think. And here it is. This one's a terrestrial planet, but it does still have rings. Oh, that's a cool view. See how that way you've got more of the view we have of our galaxy, but that way, that's that's unique. I wonder, can you see it from the night side? Oh yeah, of course the rings will be there too. That's the big problem with rings. They kind of stop, they're like light pollution. A lot of light pollution. No, you can't really see that big glow I was hoping you could. Um, even when I crank up the expo- Oh no, it's that way. Wait, can you see it? Oh, you can! So you can see it. That'd be pretty to see from the surface, I think. Very pretty indeed. Finally, we've got this planet, which is very, very bright. My, my. There we go. Fixed it. It's got kind of sci-fi, like, neon rings. That looks something out of a movie. Um, it, lo it, looks, it looks old digital effects. I guess if I did that, then it, yeah, it, it doesn't look as sci-fi CGI then, but here it definitely does. Why am I centred around some unknown point at some point in the galaxy? Ugh, that's sickening. Moving on to another solar system. We're gonna, again, go to a completely different galaxy. It is completely random, all of this, because I'm going to go to this one. So we've got this galaxy, and it's not a spiral galaxy, it's an elliptical galaxy. So we're going to go inside of it, and we're just going to look around. What does this star system have to offer? Some boiling planets, it seems. Oh, that one's very close to... It's so bright. Wow. It's very close to the star, meaning it's very... Look at how close that is. We've also got this rocky planet, which also seems to have been boiled away. Is there actually any crust under there, or is it just complete mag... I think it's just completely magma. What is that? What? I think that's the... I, <laughs> I think that's meant to be the sun. <laughs> it's like got this whole different shade thing going on as you go further up the star. I thought it was some, like, big alien spacecraft coming over the horizon. It's got a very interesting structure. Moving on to the egg-shaped hot Jupiter. It doesn't actually seem that... The temperature seems to change once you, um, once you turn off photorealistic mode. Quite a hot planet. You've also got this planet here. Oh, it's got a moon. They're all very close to the star. In photorealistic mode, they don't, they don't really seem that hot, really. Until, of course, I turn on that mode, in which they look boiled. And then, of course, we've got 
than this planet, which doesn't seem boiled. It still has quite a high temperature, but it's a nice, comfortable temperature. Well, I say comfortable temperature. Um, it's a nice, very, very, very warm temperatured planet. We'll go with that. Let us check out um, one final solar system. We're going to again fly off into the far, far distance. I choose this one. We're going to go to it. Oh, it's another spiral galaxy. This star looks like it could have some interesting planet. That's a star cluster. Not a star. But this is a star. And it also has boiled away planets. That one's very warm. We've also got this nice looking planet here. It's all purple. But is that just the atmosphere? No, I don't. No, oh, it is just the atmosphere. The surface is actually quite quite like deserts or maybe the surface of Venus it's got a very purple hue and this planet is a normal rocky planet and I want to see wow the star cluster's bright can you see if I turn off atmospheres you can see the star cluster there it seems quite bright in the night time actually <laughs> but I don't think you can see the Milky Way galaxy these have been some cool planets anyway thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you next time whether it be another information video another space engine video or something completely different thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time goodbye